This video shows you why LeBron James is hungry for his fourth ring. The King made the reputably tough Western Conference look easy, breaking the NBA's playoff scoring record in the process. After his streak of eight straight finals appearances was snapped last year, maybe some of us got ahead of ourselves. Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi, 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 Kawhi Leonard! What it do, baby? You're about to see what's behind LeBron's steaming motivation, along with why everything's at stake for him in these finals, and much more. Before that, Nick Adams answers last video's question by saying he thinks Harrow has the potential to be a Curry-esque type player. He needs to work on his inside scoring and driving to the basket with confidence, but other than that, I think he has the skills of a future top 10 player or better. Question for the shoutout is coming up. Appreciate every single answer. Right quick, if you want to see intriguing NBA stories and lists every few days, subscribe and turn on notifications. That's the best way you can support this channel. First, we'll flash back to the 2018-19 NBA season, which was the first postseason without LeBron since 2005, only the third time in his 17-year career that he didn't make the playoffs. He had to sit on his couch and listen to people like yours truly, on, plus man. mainstream figures call Kawhi Leonard the new king of the NBA. Back in June of 2019, following the Raptors championship, I touched on who I thought was the best player in the world. On a video that got over 260,000 views and had Anthony Davis in a Laker jersey in the thumbnail, LeBron may have used what I said here about Kawhi for some fuel to his fire if he did see the video. Kawhi's legacy is headed towards all-time greatness, but we're in the here and now and entering 2019's offseason. There is absolutely zero denying the fact that Kawhi is the best player on earth. He took over and carried Toronto on both ends whenever he needed to and led a franchise where people thought he had no desire to play in to its first ever championship. For that, he deserves every fan's respect and the title, at least currently, as the NBA's king. So yeah, LeBron wasn't having that whatsoever. I'll admit I was completely off with that take. After my hometown of Toronto just had its first title parade, I guess I was absorbed by the moment and forgot about LeBronto. But on the rare chance LBJ clicked on that video, I'd be happy if I contributed to some of his greatness this year. LeBron James completely steamrolled through the same team that forced Kawhi Leonard into a choke job in Game 7 of the West Semis. The actual king came through in the clutch like a top player of all time to kill the Denver Nuggets' hopes and dreams. All throughout the 2019-20 season, most prominently Skip Bayless and Max Kellerman have been preaching the narrative that Kawhi's the best player in the world. Starting with the man who makes a living off hating NBA players, Skip Bayless had this to say back in October. Uh, for real, I'm still here. This is embarrassing. I don't know what to say. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> I, I'm ashamed of you. I'm ashamed for you. This is ridiculous. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi, 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 Kawhi Leonard! What it do, baby? And now for you, Shannon Sharp, guess what these are? Orthopedic shoes. Not orthopedic shoes. These are the new signature Kawhi Leonard's by New Balance. Kawhi Leonard is now so good that, dare I say, and this is another big reason why I'm back, now the best player on what the planet. Is, what is that right? No, the you're not right. Best He's player not. No, no. In the NBA. No. I just showed you that long clip because on Undisputed directly after the Clippers' epic collapse in Game 7, Skip cowardly tried to claim he never said Kawhi Leonard was the best player in the world. The clip that you're about to see and just saw was brilliantly put together by the YouTube channel Red Thunder, but here's Skip Bayless getting exposed. Now I want you to say it, and I want everybody to say it, because Kawhi Leonard should be held to the same standard. Mm. If this was LeBron... Oh, so, so you're saying Kawhi is equal to LeBron? Is that he's never been. He's then, never been. Then why were we holding the same what, standard? But, but hold on. But y'all been doing it for the longest. You I'm said he was better. Did you not say well, he was better? Than, hold, on, hold on. You never said Kawhi Leonard is a better player in the last two years than LeBron James. You never said that. So you never said in the last year and a half that Kawhi Leonard is a better player than LeBron James. I have said one man is a better player than LeBron James, and his name is Kevin Durant, and he's not playing. Hey. Yeah. 
I need you to do this internet. I need you to get them detectives on it. Get this out. I need Two you to way. I've said shifting from Fox Sports to ESPN on another primetime show and first take. Another reason for LeBron's motivation is Max Kellerman. On May 26th of 2020, as he'd been saying all year, here's what Max Kellerman had to say. Is Kawhi the best player in the world? Yes, he has been for a couple years now, uh, or at least last year, and it, I believe he will be again this year by the time the playoffs are over. And it would be one thing if you wanted to say no one really took the title last year, and so it's vacant until LeBron proves otherwise, but that's not what happened, guys. Kawhi went bananas on the league in the playoffs. He got past the freak. He, and by the way, played the best defense you could possibly play on the Freak. I know he was funneled towards the bigs, the Freak was, but, but in terms of the nearest defender and what happens to the Freak's numbers when Kawhi was on him, it won anything nice, guys. And then he hits the shot against the Sixers. Embiid and Simmons going around. Embiid and Simmons to hit one of the most clutch shots anyone's ever seen. And then he goes on to win finals MVP. So you now know all about Kawhi getting the hype as the greatest in the world. But the Greek freak Giannis Antetokounmpo was also in the mainstream debate for who was the top player in the world. Now let me be clear, because it's a regular season award, which it shouldn't be, Giannis deserved his second straight MVP trophy. LeBron said he was angry after only getting 16 votes for MVP, which he wasn't in the wrong for whatsoever. From start to finish this season, LBJ came out like a man possessed and a man on a mission. As the season went on, his Laker teammates then started to mimic putting a crown on his head. Of course, LeBron himself already knew he was the king. The guy's Instagram handle is King James. But LeBron's teammates crowning him was displaying a message loud and clear to the entire world. And that was, despite what the media is telling you, this right here is the best player in the league. It's amazing to think how quickly LeBron's eight straight trips to the finals in the 2010s was so quickly forgotten about. Maybe the biggest motivating factor of them all for not only LeBron, but the Laker organization top to bottom, is honoring their fallen legend. More than losing an icon, the world lost a powerful, well thought out voice in Kobe Bryant. The Mamba mentality is now one of the top driving forces behind the Lakers' success. Because every time the Lakers end a huddle, Coach Vogel leads a chant of 1-2-3 Mamba. That means every time they step on the court, one of the greatest to ever do it, a stone-cold assassin in the Black Mamba, is in the front of their mind. But this is more than just an organizational loss. This is extremely personal for LeBron James. Even though Kobe versus LeBron was the finals matchup we never got to see, these two had a special friendship and debatably are the two greatest players of their generation. So if LeBron is able to capture his fourth championship, you can bet that he's going to be mentioning Kobe any chance he gets in his interviews. I'm Adam, call me D-Flo. I post videos like that every few days, sometimes lists and stories, sometimes rankings. But to really stay tuned on all those videos, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DFlowHoops. That's at DFlowHoops on both platforms. But again, subscribe if you enjoyed, answer the question for next video shout out, and keep watching some of my recent uploads. Appreciate you.